It's a lightweight break showdown in Miami. Danton here with MMA down. Junkie to help you break down the co-main event for UFC 299 between Dustin Poirier and Benoit Saint-Denis. Saint-Denis, of course, is the new hotness in town. Of course, after nearly surviving death against Aliza Zaleski, DeSantos up a division in his debut. Well, he has since dropped down to his more natural division of 155 pounds and strung together an impressive five-fight stoppage streak. And Saint-Denis has since been calling for the big names, and a big name is what he'll get in Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Of course, the former UFC interim lightweight champion who was last seen challenging for the BMF belt. Of course, he came up short last time out, but we'll see what Poirier has to say this weekend. At the time of this video, the odds makers actually opened Poirier as the favorite, but MMA gambling public, as they tend to do with their youthful selections like a Jerry Sandusky with the way they scout talent, have gone on and flipped the betting line completely with money coming in on St. Denis, who is now your favorite in the neighborhood of minus 210 with the comeback on your underdog Poirier in the neighborhood of plus 164. Now, as much as I'm making jokes and acting surprised, really I'm not at this point in the game. We all know, aside from the gambling trends that I uh, semi-jokingly referenced prior, that yes, you know, a fighter on a hot streak and, and a veteran, even a pound-for-pound -pound great, coming off a particular knockout loss is not a great recipe. We kind of saw that with uh, Volkanovski, another great fighter who I'm a big fan of. However, Volkanovski did kind of rush that one back under that six-month mark that I and many like to see fighters take off a minimum of the six months after the knockout loss. Poirier at least did that for what it's worth. He's got plenty of southpaws to train with. This is a southpaw for southpaw matchup. Of course, Poirier, five and two against the UFC level southpaws for that type of analysis. You always gotta check out my in-depth breakdowns. Whereas St. Denis, 0 and 0. However, anytime a fighter is even thought about going southpaw and just flashed it for a second, Boy, do they land, and do they land their check right hook. In fact, counter right hands from either stance are, are the common culprit coming forward or off the counter, uh, just in, in general, when it comes to what hits on St. Denis. And, well, Poirier's got an excellent counter right hand, folks. Uh, I don't think I'm breaking news to anybody with that one. Now, that might be a singular read. Uh, Poirier, you know, could definitely get burnt out with the wrestling and cage positioning. You know, you could play right into Benoit St. Denis' kill zone perhaps suffer maybe even another strike stoppage, you know, uh, to his record, unfortunately, or another, you know, submission win there for St. Denis, you know, I could see St. Denis getting it done in a bunch of ways, I, I get the money coming in on him, but I'm gonna go with Dustin Poy to survive the storm and get a third round knockout. For more on both fighters' games and pathways to victory, check out my in-depth breakdown at MMAJunkie.com, where you can find the results this weekend.